uh, welcome to jQuery video series and in this series today we are going to read a local file and populate the entire data within this text box so when I click read the file the data will come like this okay so let's see how can we read file using a jQuery and populate in any control like text box text area or any div element whichever you desire so first of all let's have a look so uh, I need a jQuery file yeah in order to work this thing and next we will look at the markup so I have one h2 I got one div in which I'm gonna populate a data later on just for the demoing purpose at present I have a text box input text box and I have a button so let's verify this is h2 this is text box and this is button and there's a div yeah but uh, at present uh, I have marked it as uh, hidden for now all right so <clears throat> we'll get to that now how can we read a file uh, you know using jQuery so let's check that so what I've done is over here there's a button right so on document dot ready I have registered a click event okay now within this click event so when this button is clicked we are going to perform some actions so what action we are performing so I'm saying hey jQuery use your get function and try to read this file uh, the file is present in files to read you know folder which is right here and there's a test doc uh, txt file so if I look at the file it looks like this right so using the get function you know we get the data and once this function returns the data the data is in this variable data now okay so first uh, let's verify uh, what data we are getting when we hit the you know the the get function so let's do that first so I'm gonna do the refresh and one second I need a hard refresh so when I hit the read file it's gonna call the get function of jQuery so this is something I'm reading so this is alert and the same thing is gonna get populated in a text box and at the end what I want is whatever I'm reading I want to disable it that control so I have used you know the jQuery again the text data is this is the data in which I'm populating a data so that's well function and this is the you know the ID so using this ID I'm saying uh, there's an attribute uh, disable I want to assign the property as disable so it will mark it as disable if I remove this line and if I go back and if I do refresh and if I click again okay confirmation of data but you know it won't be disabled so you're getting my point right so there are two things here first using a jQuery get function you can read a file yeah so we are reading a file and next thing is whatever data is coming we are holding a data variable and now this data variable whatever value we have we are putting or I mean I can say populating in a specific control so that's right here and after that I can you know uh, disable it if you want to now let's make some changes so now I'm enabling a div okay so let's have a look control f5 so you can see you know the blue color div so the border is 5px blue and solid at present there's no data so that's why div looks like something like this okay now what are we going to do is we're going to grab the div div blue and we are going to put right here so basically we are saying that I want the content of div and I want its HTML to be changed okay so now once oh, I'm sorry need to block the alert because we know that get function is getting us the alert so now the data will come in the div blue not in the text box so let me do the refresh okay now let me hit the read file and you can see you know the data is inside the div element so you can see like you know using the read I mean the get function of jQuery you can read files and now once the file you are reading whatever data you have is holding in this variable now you can put it in div you can put it in text area whichever control you like alright if you want to disable it then you can use the attribute disable disable alright so I hope this video helps and if this helps then guys please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and give me a thumbs up thank you for watching good night and take care